In this problem, they tell us that a playground ball has a diameter of 18 centimeters. And here is that, that playground ball. It's a, it's a sphere. And so they're saying that a sphere has a diameter of 18 centimeters. They want us to sketch a cylinder that fits the playground ball and label its height and base. Then they want us to find the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the ball. So and then they have a second part here, which we'll get to in a moment, where we find the volume of an exercise ball with a diameter of 62 centimeters. So what do we do? Well, if this is a sphere, right, and the diameter is 18 centimeters, that means that the height of the sphere, a diameter you can picture in 3D, the diameter of the sphere going through the center of the playground ball is also the, the height of the, of the sphere. Um, we're, we're trying to find a cylinder that fits the, this playground ball, which is a little unclear. But what that means is we're, we're sketching out a cylinder uh, in which the playground ball will fit, like a, a container. And if you think about what that means, um, well, the cylinder, right, will, will have to also have a width of 18 because the sphere, right, its width must also be the same as its height. That's the idea. It's like a 3D circle. So here, the, the width of the of the sphere is also 18. So let's label that. So we have a width of 18. And it must be the same for the cylinder and sphere. So I guess I'll write it over here. For the sphere, right, we, we've said so far that the diameter is 18 centimeters. But that also tells us that the height is 18 centimeters and that the width is 18 centimeters. And these are all the same thing. And in fact, often we use one variable for these three things, but I'm just trying to highlight all of them here. And the cylinder must also have some of those same properties. The cylinder will have a height of 18, right? Because it has to match what the, the playground ball is doing. And it'll have a, a width of 18 centimeters. So let's sketch this cylinder out. And I hope I don't botch this up too much. But here's the we 3D top, you can picture it. And then we drop down the sides of the cylinder here. And here's the bottom, right? Let's picture the cylinder, there it is. So the cylinder, though, what we're concerned about is, and of course, we're saying that, that the playground ball fits very snugly in here. So it reaches exactly the top and bottom of the cylinder, because the, the height we said is 18. But with a cylinder, um, we're concerned about the radius. That's how we calculate the volume. And the radius is just a line from the center, right, of the top of the circle to the edge. Well, if the width of this, of this cylinder is 18, the radius must be half of that, because the width is just like the diameter, which we are setting up here, and the radius is half the diameter. So the radius is half of the diameter. It's 9 centimeters. And now we have everything we need to find the volume of the cylinder. To find the volume of a cylinder, what we're essentially doing is, well, we're multiplying the area of a circle that can be thought of as the bottom of the cylinder, the pi radius square, that's the area of the circle, and then multiplying that by the height of the cylinder. So in this case, I would leave pi alone and just touch the radius here. The radius is 9 squared, or 81, times 18, which is the height. We can enter that in our calculator here, right? 81 times 18 gives us 1,458. So pi times 1,458. We're in cubic centimeters here because we're finding volume, right? This was in centimeters, right? And this was in centimeters. And pi is in centimeters, so it's cubic centimeters. Three centimeters being multiplied. So that's the volume of our cylinder. And if we want to estimate that, we can multiply it by three, but I would leave it like this. And that's this, our cylinder. Now the sphere inside, right, the sphere inside also has a volume. And I, I think my approach here in this video, I don't want to get too much into the intuition of the sphere here, but I want to share with you the formula I would use, and maybe I'll talk a little bit about the intuition, but, but we, we go through that in other videos here. So here we will just apply the formula based on what we know. So the sphere has a diameter of 18, and that means the radius is 9. Right, it's half of that. And to find the volume of the sphere, what I might do is 4 thirds pi times the radius cubed. So if the diameter of the sphere is 18, then the radius is half of that. Right? It's 9 centimeters, just like it is for the cylinder. 
And to find the volume of a sphere, I'll, I'll do 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Pretty standard formula here that we're plugging into. And the radius cubed is 9 times 9 times 9. Let's this. 9 times 9 times 9, 729. And that, I'll just drag this over here. That number, according to this formula, must be multiplied by pi and 4 thirds. I'm going to leave the pi alone, and I'm going to approach the 4 thirds. So to find a third, I'll divide this number by 3. I get 243, right? You take something, divide it in 3, you get a third. But I'm finding 4 thirds. So if I have 1 third is 243, to find 4 thirds, I, I quadruple this number and multiply it by 4. All right, that'll give me 4 thirds. So I get 972. And here I would write 972 pi cubic centimeters. Right? And this makes sense. The, the volume of the sphere should be less than the volume of the cube, right? Of the, of the, um, of the cylinder. And just to, just to really talk about a little bit of intuition about why this formula works over here, right? It has to do a little bit with a cylinder, but, but here we can say and, and picture what's happening. Um, if we drew a cube, right, a radius cube in this sphere, and I, I'm not sure that I can even do it here in this program, but try to imagine that this is the radius, right? And off of the radius, we're going to draw a cube. Actually, let me clear this off. I'll explain, I'm trying to explain why this form makes a little bit of sense. So imagine that we have the radius here, right? And we say, well, let's make a radius cube. So here's a radius square. A radius square is just a radius times a radius. I'll pick a different color. Right, a radius square is just a radius times a radius. So a radius cube is going to be a cube where every edge is a radius. So I'm just trying my best here to get this to work. There we go. All right. So what does that mean? Well, when you say 4 thirds pi r cubed, that tells me that the, and this is the volume of a sphere. That tells me that here, if I look at this cube, this radius cube thing that's built off of the sphere, how many of these cubes would fit inside the volume of a sphere? Well, that's a little tricky, right? If you take about pi cubes, which is a little bit more than three of these cubes, and then multiply that by four thirds, that's how many of these cubes fit inside the sphere. Right? And it's always based on the radius. So whatever cube is drawn off the radius, if I have a really big sphere, I'll have a much larger radius cube. Well, that's not going to make a drawing here, but imagine here, like let's say I had just such a big sphere, it doesn't even fit on the page, right? Like this is just a part of the sphere. This, this sphere goes right off. It would be an enormous cube. But still the same constant relationship happens where that cube, which is drawn off of that radius of that enormous sphere, multiplied by pi and four thirds, it's that many cubes that fit inside the sphere, which gives a little bit of intuition as to the, the volume of a sphere. Now the second part of this question says find the volume of an exercise ball with a diameter of 62 centimeters. So we're going to kind of apply the same thing. If the diameter is 62, then the radius is half of that. It's 31 centimeters. And to find the volume, we do 4 thirds pi times, times 31 cubed. So it's quite a large number here, but we, we can deal with that. 31 cubed. And careful here to only cube the radius. So 31 times 31 times 31 gives me this large number here, 29,791. But we're going to leave pi alone, find a third, divide it by 3 get 9,930 and a third, multiply that by 4 to get 4 thirds, same as before, 39,721, 39,000, right, think of that, yep, 721 and a third pi cubic centimeters, which would be the volume of that cube, which I'm not sure why I chose an unfriendly measurement there. Uh, I, I like when it reduces down to a simple number. Anyway, I hope this helped.